next up are symbol questions. So again, just like functions, they're just an equation, but a lot of times people get kind of freaked out by them because it's, uh, it's when you see something like x heart y. Alright, heart is not a normal mathematical symbol. It doesn't mean anything in particular until they tell you what it means. So if you've ever seen a heart or a club or spade or a smiley face or any of those sorts of things on a practice test, it's a symbol question and really all you have to do is follow directions. So don't get too freaked out by them. So for instance, it could say x heart y is equal to x squared minus y plus 5. Okay, great. So all that means is that the first number is squared, then you take away the second number, and then you add 5. So if I have x heart y is equal to x squared minus y plus 5, and they want to know what, let's just say 2 heart, 2 heart 3 is equal to, I would just fill in. So x is 2 and y is 3. So you have 2 squared minus 3 plus 5. So you have 4 minus 3 plus 5. So you would end up with 6 as your total answer. Okay, so that looks, you know, simple enough. It's just following directions. The first thing is x, the second thing is y. But how about when they make it a little bit more complicated? All right. Here's a little bit more complicated question. So now I have 3 heart 1, heart 2 heart 10. All right, this looks really complicated, but again, it's just following directions. So I'm just going to start with the left part of this, 3 heart 1, and I'm going to ignore everything else just for a minute here. So 3 heart 1, do the same thing, 3 is x, 1 is y, and you plug in it. So I'd have 3 squared minus 1 plus 5 which gives me 9 minus 1 plus 5, which is going to give me 13. So if 13 is the answer for just 3 heart 1. Now, I know that this whole thing is going to be added back in, but I'm just going to keep it off to the side for a second. So I've got that 3 heart 1 is 13. Now I want to figure out what is 2 heart 10. Okay, so 2 heart 10, same thing. 2 is x and 10 is y. So we would have 2 squared minus 10 plus 5. So that would give us 4 minus 10 plus 5, which would give us negative 1. Okay, great. So, so far we've got two answers. 3 heart 1 is 13 and 2 heart 10 is negative 1. Now comes the third and last portion of this. So since it said 3 heart 1 heart, 2 heart 10, I replace 13, come on pen, 13, there we go, um, is 3 heart 1. So now I just say 13 heart and then my second answer, negative 1. All right, so 13 heart negative 1 is going to be a little bit more difficult because we have to square that. But same thing. 13 is x, negative 1 is y. So 13 squared minus negative 1 plus 5, which gives us 169 plus 1, because two negatives make a positive, plus 5, which is going to give us 175. And that would be our final answer. Okay, so we're going to go over inequalities, and then we have one more little thing to cover in terms of different types of equations, and that's the equation where they don't just ask for one variable. But first things first, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's go ahead and look at inequalities. Okay, so in inequalities, instead of having an equal sign, you're going to have a greater than or a less than sign. So you guys have all seen these guys. Or you could have a greater than and equal to or less than and equal to sign. All this means is that, you know, you've got also an equal sign essentially incorporated into there. And if you ever forget which one is which, really simple trick, the bigger number is going to be towards the open end, aka this is the open end. So bigger numbers here, smaller numbers over on this side. Okay. Here's an example inequality problem. So if 8 minus 2x is greater than 6, 
what are all the possible values of x? So basically we're just going to simplify this. So uh, what we would do is we would go ahead and start off with our equation. So 8 minus 2x is greater than 6, and then you want to isolate x, so treat this just the same exact way you would any other normal equation. So you're going to take away 8 from both sides, so you'd have negative 2x is greater than negative 2, and then you're going to divide by negative 2. Now, everything up until this point, totally normal, same exact as an equation, but if you divide or multiply by a negative number, you must switch the signs. So, um, in this case, we have x not greater than, but now less than 1. So, when you divide and multiply, always switch. So, it's a really important rule to remember, and a lot of the times they will give you, for instance, in this problem, x is greater than 1 or x is less than 1. So make sure that you switch the signs because it's an easy mistake to make. It's really simple, but you want to make sure that you catch it so that you don't have a problem wrong on test day after doing 99% of the work.